pals. We got two House of the Dragon trailers, one black, one green. Which team are you? I know which team I am. Let's get into it. We fight for our queen! Yes, we do. House Targaryen all the way. My father chose me, his firstborn child, to succeed him. He held to his decision until death. And Lord, yes, Alison's son sits my throne. No bueno. No. I need to fight this war and win it. <laughs> Damon's like, yeah! We will. We'll soon tear itself apart. If men do not remember the oath sworn to King Viserys and to his rightful heir. The High Towers are marching. You must crush this beast at its head. Our terms are very simple. Renounce the false king and bend the knee to the queen. Or your house burns. Ah. Uh, okay. When the desire to kill and burn takes hold and reason is forgotten, you will not even remember what began the war in the first place. We fight for our queen! Fear what I've begun. Drama. That looks awesome. It's like they said, you you wanted dragons? Um, excuse me, hold my beer. We're, we're coming with dragons. So many dragons. All the dragons. You want a dragon war? Okay, you got it. Let's go. A little bit of Joffrey going on again, huh? How so? It just seems like a, a petulant uh, child king again. Yeah. A little bit. I don't know. It wasn't like an aggressive echoing of that, even though this takes place beforehand. There was just a fleeting moment that just felt, kind of felt like it, especially because he's so young and he's got young this like blonde. expression on his face that looks like it's, it's a very punchable face. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't mean that about the actor. I just mean like with the, the, character. the character and the look and everything yeah. like that. Anyway, let's look at the green trailer. Oh, that's cool. Green dragon. It's about to get nuts. Many weeks ago, my lord husband was alive. And the realm was at peace. On his deathbed, he knew the realm would never accept a queen. Rhaenyra's supporters will believe what they wish. But Viserys wanted her gone to succeed him. Yeah, she misunderstood. They wish now not for the good of the realm, but for the satisfaction of vengeance. Not against the king, and I will pay it back a hundred times over. I'm as fearsome as any of them. You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. See what I'm saying? Yeah. My uncle is a challenge I welcome. If he dares face me. I we cannot wait to see of peace. Amen and Damon but you go must accept that the path to victory now is one of violence. Good. To war then. Oh, so flippantly. All my life I've endeavored to serve both my house and the realm. And somehow none of it matters. Hold to your courage! One true king, Aegon! The dragons look really cool. You know what was interesting about season one was that it front-ended a lot of the violence like in the first episode, right? A lot of the episodes after that was mostly like the political drama with action here and there, but it was mostly to just continue facilitating just the story in the mm -hmm. political drama. It wasn't really investing a lot of time and, and resources into showing you a crazy display of action. This feels like it's going to do it slightly different yeah. with more emphasis placed on the action. I didn't mind season one at all. I really enjoyed it, Love by the way. The one. political drama and intrigue of all that stuff with the houses and whatnot. That was all lots of fun to me. Um, the, what I'm saying is I'm, I'm ready for this, though. Well, Whatever yeah, this action is going to be. Because we're going to war. And I, I think, you know, it's different from what we've seen in Game of Thrones because it's a different time, right? At this time, they had a lot of dragons. And I was just thinking about the level of devastation that 
can happen when you've got One two dragon. warring factions uh, yeah. who have multiple dragons yeah, and yeah. dragon riders. Like, it's going to be banana town. Well, I was just thinking about, like, the final episode of, of Game of Thrones and how devastating that was with One Dragon. Yeah. And then having multiple going head to head. That, yeah. I, how do you even, like, choreograph and... Sh and I put that I'm just like I know it's it's wild. Yeah, when have we seen that? Like have we have we actually ever seen that? Because like I think I think back on any movie or show with dragons. It's usually like the last dragon. Yeah, exactly. And there's like one dragon. Exactly. You know, yeah. You, you you don't ever see a war with both sides having dragons. Yeah. Like it's it's crazy. And like watching this, watching the trailer, I'm just like, okay. How I am so strongly team black right mm -hmm. like team targaryen i've always felt like it's so unfair that rhaenyra has been sidelined because she's a woman even though you know she's the eldest one mm -hmm. of of viserys's children she, he named him her his heir and everything and still she's like trying to fight for a throne that is rightfully hers because you know uh, the the realm believes that succession should go to the male and all of yeah. that. And then like Alicent has misunderstood her husband's dying words and thought that he meant egg on his son when he didn't at all. And so it's like, oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. Just let Rhaenyra be queen. But obviously, you know, we live for the drama. So, Well, I don't, I, it's been a minute since we watched, uh, you know, House of the Dragon, but whatever she heard she wanted to hear yeah so. absolutely but i mean she she also heard her son's name which also happens to be the name of the king that gave the prophecy right but like in her heart of hearts she knows what she wants and so she went with whatever she interpreted it as well, sure like, like yeah it's she can she can say whatever she wants to justify it but she probably knows who should be king who should be in charge and she's you mean queen. Or, yeah, sorry, queen. Yeah, I don't see gender. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, she probably knew who should have been in charge, and she went with her e ego and you know what she wanted. Of course, to... and I mean they have a personal little vendetta against each other anyway. A little so. tiff. A little tiff. You know, little tiffs leading to big wars. <laughs> leading to lots of people dying. <laughs> yeah, isn't that just history? <laughs> I don't know. What do I know? I mean, it, it definitely has that kind of poetic sense that you get with, with the likes of any other saga like Star Wars or whatever, where you kind of have these repeat ideas that come up again and again. And so here it's the same idea. You know, you have a couple people in charge who are all kind of awful in their own way and they're going at it with each other and everybody else has to suffer as a result. Yeah, I mean, I think about, there was like a really poignant line, I think, that Rainey said in the trailer uh, where she was kind of saying, you know, you might forget what you're actually fighting for. Mm -hmm. And I think that's maybe crucial where, you know, in the beginning, they're fighting because of this one thing. Mm -hmm. And then later on, it's just going to get so messy and so crazy. And it's like, wait, why are we even doing? Is it even worth it? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's always worse when it's family as well. Because <laughs> Well, that's when it's nice and juicy and bloody. 